More than two millennia ago, Cleopatra, Queen of Egypt, made a home in Alexandria, a city which lay buried beneath the sea for centuries. In an expedition led by French explorer Frank Gaudio, the team uncovered the remains of Cleopatra's sunken palace, as well as the entire submerged royal quarters in the harbour of modern Alexandria. Shining the 20th century light on the ruins and offering a glimpse into an era gone by is an exhibition of photographs at the India Habitat Centre titled Cleopatra's Palace in Search of a Legend. A film on this dramatic expedition documenting the exploration has also been produced. Author of bestsellers City of Joy and Freedom at Midnight, Dominique Lapierre was in the country for the multiple release of his latest book, A Thousand Sons. For the past 17 years, Dominic, along with his wife, has extensively toured India. He has also contributed nearly $6 million in charity, especially for lepers in Calcutta. Fondly known as Dominic Da, the author of Thousand Sons recaptures his encounters with many heroes during his sojourn as a journalist. It is a, an extraordinary experience for me to launch A Thousand Sons for the first time in the world in India. It think, it's a really a publishing premiere and I'm very proud because the royalties from A Thousand Sons is going to go to the people of the Sundarbans. It's going to benefit those about whom I speak. Audiences in Mumbai were mesmerized this week when a touring Russian ballet troupe skated on artificial ice, performing classics like Tchaikovsky's famed Swan Lake. The visiting troupe that included former Olympic gold medalist Natalia is on a tour of the country, and Mumbai was the kickoff point for the Indian experience. Indian public is very nice audience. They they very um, you know they look to us with kind heart, with kind soul. So that we like to be there.